So it's from Relationship Advice and it's titled, I look exactly like my fiance's parent. I, 24, have been with my fiance, 28, for the past five years and engaged for the past year. They're the love of my life and we get along very well. They've always had a strange adoration for their parent. They usually talk about how smart, how kind, how funny they are. I always thought it was sweet because I don't have a good relationship with my parent. They often said, I have the same personality type as their parent too. We're both INTPs. Mm -hmm. During our whole relationship, I hadn't met their family. We live in Germany, they're in the US. We're currently visiting them now. When I met their parent, I really liked them. They're 64, so I didn't notice our resemblance at first, but when I looked at their wedding photos with my fiance's other parent, I really look like I could be their child. Even my fiance's other parent pointed it out. We both have curly ginger hair and green eyes. We are a similar height and build. It's so eerie. If you compare a photo of them in their youth with me, we look like we could be twins. Their parent is also a fan of red hats. Guess what color hats they buy me? Red. I asked a few friends what they thought, and they said this obviously can't be a coincidence. I decided to speak to them before bed yesterday, and I pointed out how similar I was to their parent. They shrugged and said people usually choose partners who are similar to their parents. I didn't believe them, but they showed me some articles on Google. I tried to let it go today, but I met some more of their relatives, and everyone is talking about how their parent and I look like we're related. Their parent finds this whole thing cute and has said, my child misses me so much when they're in Germany that they found my lookalike. How do I approach a conversation with them about this again? Or am I just overreacting and should I let it go? I would love some advice. Oh, God. Don't don't read the updates yet. Well, I feel like an edit. It's an edit. And I feel like it's absolutely necessary for us to have our our next conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A commenter told me to add this here. I didn't want to earlier because it's a bit vulgar, but they do call me daddy slash mommy in bed sometimes. (laughs) Yeah, that's a critical detail. A lot of people have a mommy. I get, uh, don't come for me. I get confused between fetishes and kinks. One, you absolutely, there's, there is a difference. Oh, please break it down. I don't know. I forget because I, it's something that like, doesn't like, I don't personally relate to. So it kind of falls out of my head, Mm -hmm. but like a fetish versus a kink, like one of them, you absolutely need to get off. And the other, you just like enjoy. Is the kink the latter? I think the kink. No, I think the kink is the one you, mm, let's just go. I feel like fetish, doesn't fetish sound like one you like need? Yeah, and the yeah, kink yeah, is yeah. Like, kink, cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yeah, but we will fact check ourselves. Yeah, a fetish is similar to a kink, but the difference is that something is a fetish when it must be present mm-hmm. in order for a person to achieve an orgasm. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Well, that's why they say like foot fetish over foot kink because like people who are like genuinely like foot people, I feel like they're like, yeah, they'll they go out it. of their way to be like oh. pay money for it and all this stuff. Okay. What? what? No, I, I didn't know that. I'm like, oh, that, that makes you, sense. I thought you were reading more stuff. Well, but like I know someone with a foot fetish and like he doesn't need feet Wait, every really? time. I'm but so I don't curious. think that I just I yeah. don't feel like I don't. Maybe, maybe he has a foot kink then. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I, OK. Yeah. But this like, is good. This okay, is good. Is a fetish really like you need it to get off? Apparently. Because remember that Google? one guy that used to pee his pants to get off? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Like, why are you looking at me? The, no, there was a guy, I think he shit. No, he peed in front of everybody. He used to like Oh, the get embarrassment up and, kink. Yeah, he got the embarrassment kink. So he would get up in front so of everybody. So that's technically a fetish. Yeah, because it was like he couldn't mm-hmm. like stop even though it was affecting his relationship. Mm-hmm. But he was like, no, like it was like a- Sounds like a fetish. A knee-jerk reaction. Like I feel like that is where it separates from like okay. fetish to kink. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. This has been very educational. <laughs> very insightful. Yeah. Um, okay. Who wants to start? I think you should. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Take it away. Fine. So, you know, as you're reading the story, it was so interesting to me because I have heard this before that you are naturally attracted to people who kind of exude the qualities of your parents, Mm -hmm. you know? And so 
it's I was kind of giggling in my head because I'm thinking about like the last person I dated and then my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all kind of giggle at that. Like, yeah. Not at all. But 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 it didn't work out. So, you know, I do feel like I gravitate towards men who have qualities of my dad mm-hmm. for sure. I have noticed that about myself recently, not necessarily the physical attributes, but maybe the like things that they value and the way that they treat me because mm-hmm. my dad's like so amazing, mm-hmm. you know? So I yeah. obviously want something like that, but yeah. sorry to bring it back to the story. Initially, I wasn't that weirded out because I have dated guys where they very clearly have a type and I look like either their sisters or their mom. And I don't think it's like that weird. They just clearly have a type. Yeah. Um. However, they were not calling me names like mommy in bed. So that is where it gets a little interesting. It and helps, it, yeah. the fact that it's been kind of a like, addressed and almost like played off of like oh he or she found my twin you know to keep them that's company. weird the fact that the parent kind of recognized that yes, the parents playing into it that's kind of weird it almost yeah. sounds like they liked it well that could be it or it's also it, it could just be very harmless and it could almost be like I don't know. I mean, there's so many ways to look at this one, to be honest. There's so many lenses you can take. There's one where it's just super harmless and they're like, she's a beautiful, or he or she, I'm sorry, is a beautiful person. And I mean, it's like birds of a feather, like flock flock together. So it's almost like, well, you you And something that I'm, I'm thinking too, which is like, this is a bias, but we've normalized daddy- in bed. I mean, there's a fucking podcast that says call her daddy, but it's like you don't really hear that that often where it's like mommy when you're in bed. I mean, kind of, maybe a little bit. I don't know. It doesn't yeah. seem like it's that normal to be like mommy when you're in bed. Not that, not that it's. Yeah, no, it, I think like the whole like call me daddy and like zaddy, like I think that has been really normalized and it's honestly like ruined daddy for a lot of people honestly like my dad is so sad that i don't call him daddy anymore he's like he no he literally said that because i i I did used to be like hey daddy like you did yeah what and Mm -hmm. the whole sexualization of daddy i can't anymore it repulses me yeah and he's talked about it on his show he's literally been like why don't you call me daddy anymore and i'm like like lower your voice like let's not talk about this here i I used to have my mom and my dad and my phone is like mommy rolf and daddy rolf and like i had to like change it whenever i got like older and it became such a thing absolutely but like if that notification popped up nine out of ten people would be like what what guy are you talking to like people would be like that's your father tell him i said hello like you know yeah so so my point is like not because it's like we are trying to be like neutral with this whole story and everything but like there is this again like these are societal norms of things that humans around us have all made up and we just decided to go along with it but it's like it is more normalized when people call people daddy in bed than like mommy in bed which one do you think this is about do you think do you want to know the genders now as we continue the conversation no and if you I think it's I think that they are calling them mommy because I feel like that is like worth writing home about versus women call men daddy all the time in bed that part's not that weird it wouldn't like, I don't the think, bells wouldn't be ringing it wouldn't be like in my opinion I don't think it would be mm-hmm. that it could be now contextual right like in a vacuum calling someone daddy maybe is normal in our society right mm-hmm. now but if this let's just say OP is a woman, and let's say that the significant other is a male. Sorry, never mind. Let's just say that they're calling them daddy, but it's a guy. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't have genders. It could be a gay couple. Right, that's true. Yeah. That's true, but let's just say you're calling them daddy and they do look like your dad. That would be kind of... That would, be would worth, be, that would be worth writing about would. is what I'm saying. It's all the context. So yeah, yeah context really does matter here. Well, and I so, think with, yeah. I think with the gifts is also weird. Like... The fact yes. that the, oh the, the, the red par- hat yeah the fact that the parent is like really 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 in a red hat mm. and so the partner buys op mm. red hats mm. wait so it's the partner I thought it was the parent I thought it too. was the parents yeah. are you sure yeah so the parent is really into red hats right so the partner of op mm-hmm. the one writing in yeah the partner buys op red hat yeah, yeah. That because so that's what op yeah. what the partner's parent loves yeah yeah i just oh it's hard because it's like are you really going to end a relationship off of speculation but at the same time this is some crazy kind of like speculation like this feels weird it, i think so much so because like also the other family is like talking about it 
Yeah. Like you went to go visit them. You went from Germany to the States, like United States to go visit their family. And now you're at this family get together and like everyone's talking about how much you look like their parent. Like yeah. I would be like, uh, like, I don't think like, obviously, I like, honestly don't think that I would think it's that crazy up until the like the part the in- parents comment. <sighs> Sorry, I'm. I'm. No, 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 no. It's, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just. Shut it down. No, it actually. It's funny because like anytime you interrupt me, then it makes me rethink my thoughts. I'm Fuck. just like, no, no, no. Like in a good way. In I want to hear way. your original thought. <laughs> I need to stop. No, I'm like this I'm is out meant, of control. This is meant to be. God came down and was just like, <laughs> save Lauren from this yeah. thing she's about to say. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> 100%. No horsing around this episode. You're doing God's work, Morgan. Literally, literally. <laughs> On a Monday. <laughs> As a Jew. Uh, <laughs> exactly. It is the season. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I yeah, I don't even know where I was going with that. Um, so the top comment. <laughs> Damn, all that for <laughs> nothing? <laughs> <laughs> wow no, where were you going i want to know no it's okay it's really okay I, I i think that there's something about this story that would not give me weird vibes but there's just a couple little things that do give me like sirens a little bit if i was in this situation i'd be like a little bit weirded out but if it's a really good relationship like i, I don't know are we that worried like i would have a, i would point it out absolutely yeah if it were me i'd be like listen sir that I'm dating (laughs) like I look a lot like your mom can we talk about it yeah let's talk about that yeah I would doesn't have to be contentious you can just kind of throw it out there and then see what they have to say oh I know why do you think I started dating you okay now it's getting but they already said they said it's very normal and they brought up articles and they're like read these articles that was the family it sounds like OP hasn't had a one-on-one with their partner oh that's my gathering. No, from- they did bring it up to their partner and were they like, hey, I kind of yeah. look like your parent. And then the partner brought up the articles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, th- I don't know why I thought that was with their friends. Mm-mm. I thought they went to their friends and the friends Both. were reassuring them. Okay. Both. It is a scientificamerican.com. Are we more attracted to people who look like us? The rather uncomfortable theory was originally put forth more than a century ago by Sigmund Freud. Mm. Yeah, he keeps winning. He keeps winning. Blah, 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 blah. It just keeps going on. It's a very interesting article. I, you know, would probably read this. I'll post the link for you all. Um, where are the results? God. Oh, my God. They literally say, or this, as the saying goes, birds of a feather flock together. Nailed it. You literally were on this. Wow. I love when I'm on point. Doesn't happen often. But. I, I, and I, I also don't think that it's, I don't think it's creepy to go after people that are familiar to you, whether it's with what it you either. recognize in yourself, your parents, your pa- like you are a part of your parents, so it makes sense. You also are re- recognizing it in yourself. Whatever all that is, like, I don't think that's creepy. And they might be looking into it a little too deeply with, like, the in-bed comment. The in-bed comment is the only thing that kind of, like, triggered me a little bit because yeah. I'm like, if someone just looks like your mom or your dad or your parent, like... I mean, well, they did. So in this study, I it really I had to like seed through, but they did find that men often favor women who resemble their mothers when choosing mates. So since the cat's out of the bag on that one, the genders for this story, it is a female writing in. It is a male and obsessed with the mom mother. Yeah. Or picking a mate based on the mom. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So 20, the male says mo- 24 female, 28 male and calls her mommy in bed. Hmm. So the, the, there is the one phrase when people are like, like in, I feel like I hear this in songs where it's like, I, mommy, like that's M-A-M-I. I feel like, is it M-O-M-M-Y? Yeah, but we don't know how he's spelling it when he <laughs> says it out loud. <laughs> hey, write it down for me. You know, when you're in bed and you do that thing, write it out. Can we pause for a second? Can you write this down? <laughs> write it out, write it out. Yeah, I need yeah, to know, yeah, is it yeah. M-A-M-I? Stop, or, stop. Okay, or, uh, write it down. <laughs> or M-O-M-M-Y. Big difference. Need to know. Sorry, I can't hear you. Could you write this down? <laughs> <laughs> Your moans are a little loud. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Like, it's like, a hey, mommy. Like, that's yeah. like a lot. Like, you know what I yeah. mean? Uh-huh. But M-O-M-M-Y, like, mommy. I don't know. I yeah. I don't know, you guys. If you're out there and, like, that's it's your kinda- thing, then... We're missing out, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the one baby fetish. Remember? Was that? It's like an OG episode. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're was going that, back. Was that your guys' story? Mm-mm. Was that our story? Mm-mm. I don't remember whose story that was that. What did I just say? 
I don't remember the story that was. I don't remember either. But it was like the when the guy yeah. was like, put me in diapers. Yeah. Because it turned him on. Yeah. I, I don't, I like, I feel like I get, I, I feel like I read these stories and I kind of block it out. So mm, that's why. That's I, healthy. Yeah. People are, kind, well, not all of them, but like sometimes, but. No, I'm um, serious. It's probably oh, healthy. No, that was G's episode. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. There are some updates. So someone on the original comment. Oh, God. Fuck you, moderators, you stupid bitches. Keep Whoa. this in, please. I liked that yeah, energy. what happened? There was an update and they deleted it. Why? It violated the community guidelines. They're just assholes. They don't want any of us to have fun. <laughs> the original post, someone commented, like, change your appearance and see what he does. Mm. And so she actually responded and goes, I'm going to. Mm. Like, I'm going to dye my hair. And then there was... So the original post was posted a month ago and then the update came later. Um, so people were like, also, please give us, give us an update about what happens when you manage to get back home. And OP goes, this sub only allows to post for conflict. So I'll have to post on my profile, but I will try. So okay, so here, here, here's a question that I have. So because if... Are we in in are we insinuating that he could be attracted to his mother? Like specifically his mother? Or is it very separate? He has never in his life been attracted to his mother in the slightest. He just likes a familiar face, but like he's never been attracted to his mother. Like, is that okay? Like, or what is like the line of what's like what's weird to us? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not sure because like me and Justin's mom have, we both have blonde hair, but I wouldn't consider us to like look alike. Mm -hmm. Like I wouldn't look at us side by side and be like, oh yeah, they could be related. Mm -hmm. um, so I think like it's the fact that they have similarities, but people are literally being like, you look like you could be related. Um, like there were, it was hard for me to change as I was reading, but people, the family members commented like, you look like you could be her daughter. Like, that's what the family was saying during this visit. So mm. I don't think it's so much like, oh, yeah, they look similar. Like, they both have red hair. It's the fact that they look identical. It's like, like if uncanny. You, yeah, yeah, if you compared pictures of the mom when the mom was young to the, the girl writing, and they look that much alike, and you're like, wait, who's who? Which is which? That's where it gets scary. Like, yeah, we're going to have similarities. Like, But, like, why is it scary? Is it scary because then you think that he might have been attracted to his own mother? Or is it scary? Like, that, do you know what I'm saying? That, for me, that's what it would be. Okay. It'd be the fact, like, you're attracted to your mom. Like, are you thinking of fucking your mom when you're fucking me? Mm, yeah, that's one way to look at it. I, that's not even what it does it for me. I think for me, and we've talked about this a little bit with, like, you know, people having interesting relationships with their parents is, like, I would feel like I can never replace your mom and I will always like fall short of that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good, I would feel that's like a good an, fair take. An impossible role to fill. Yeah. It's almost like something might, we don't know anything about their childhood and the relationship that they had growing up with their mom. Mm -hmm. So there could be something that we're missing where like he's trying to replace that. And I would feel like I could never live up yeah. to it. Like if we're that similar, right. like you just by default are always going to compare us. And the fact that the reason I say that is because of the gift situation. Yeah. Like clearly there's mm -hmm. this, there's this like parallel that he's trying to draw yeah. between the two. Otherwise he would treat them as completely separate entities. I don't know. That's the way I came from it. I totally see your perspective on like this maybe potential fetish that he might have. That's a little, mm -hmm. you know, for lack of better words, disturbing. I don't know to some. And the way I saw it is like, I'll never be your mom. I mm -hmm. I just can't be. Yeah. And you're, it's almost like you're looking for the next best thing to fill that role. Yeah. And I will, I will always oh, fall cool. short of it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I'm working my ass off over here to like really find this. Morgan's update. brain cells are firing on overtime. Well, and <laughs> I had I had a a listener come up to me at our live show in Minnesota and like handed me this piece of paper and they're and they were like, if you can't find the story here. It was where what? you go. They printed it? It was the nicest so thing. Cute. It was so, so nice. And I literally put it in my pockets that night, got too drunk, and can't find it. No. So I do need it again. Um, but <laughs> sorry, the whole concept just made me laugh. It's a little really, delayed, but I laughed. <laughs> yeah, it's just like really sad because I I just want to know what happened. And based on the comments on the update, it 
took a turn for the worse. It's honestly going to be in your jeans somewhere. That's what's making me laugh. Like one day you're going to no, be gone, 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 gone. Laundry. You'll take out I, the back. I wear the jeans all the time. They're like my favorite pants. I got too drunk, probably <laughs> left it at the hotel. Like who, know, who knows what drunk Morgan did? Yeah, maybe yeah. she took something out of her pocket and it flew out. Yeah. Um. But basically there was an update at one time. Fuck you, moderators of relationship advice. I say that with my full chest. Get them. But Get the em. top comment is quoting something OP said. And it goes, I then asked him why he called me mommy in bed. Mm. And the person responds, well, that settles it. So it didn't, it wasn't a good update. Um, wait, wait, whoa, what? what? We're lost. Yeah. So, so basically OP responded that settles it after the... No, the person commented. So... When Who's you like person? quote something OP mm -hmm. says, it like puts it in this other oh, little like okay, formatting. Okay. And then the person commented, a different person on Reddit yeah, goes, yeah. well, that settles it. Okay. So Based on being like what the response was. So the response must have been like, because you remind me of your mom, my mom. Yeah. Um, so there are Damn. comments from OP. I'll try to read their comments. Maybe it'll give us like more insight. Dating is so crazy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Um, I've been thrown out to the wild these past I feel like weeks. I've been thrown out to the wolves. <laughs> also, they both have bangs, which is also an important distinguished thing. Like, I didn't read it because I felt like bangs would be an identifying feature of, like, a certain gender. <laughs> but they do have ginger hair and bangs. Okay. okay. So, um, what was the red hat? <laughs> lipstick. Oh. oh. You would have immediately well, known. Uh, it was red. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we live, we're in West Hollywood. We, yeah. yeah, you never know. Um, oh, speaking of, when I was at Ulta. No, no, no. No, okay, no. Okay, fine. So. <laughs> <laughs> she said, not today. Not today. <laughs> so someone comments it and goes, I definitely want to see OP change her hairstyle drastically. For sure. See if he freaks out and insists it needs to go back to looking like it was before. Oh, hell no. I've dyed my hair black before and he hasn't freaked out, but he did keep suggesting that I change it back. He said I looked much better with my natural hair. And when I did eventually go back to Ginger, he paid for the hair appointment and all the products I needed to care for it. Okay. But like. Let me step in really quick and say some people look shitty with a different hair color. Exactly. Black is hard to pull off, you guys. Ginger to black, I mean, black is not for everyone. Should we yeah. should we send in the picture when I try to dye my hair blonde? <laughs> Someone else goes, I, I think you're reading too much into it. I would not stress over it until he calls you mommy during sex. He does. And OP goes, You're not gonna like what I'm about to tell you. I'm just reading all the comments. Oh, okay. Um so on the update post, how are you not on the how are you not on the first place back to Germany this is creepy oh. I looked at tickets and they're expensive I'm gonna call the airline blah 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 I'm not sure if this will be the case emergency flight like you could try to maybe get to the airport see if they could put you on emergency standpoint. flight it's not that serious like people are freaking out it's like it's not that serious like he's not yeah I mean it's he it might weird think, maybe he might but. fuck you because he looks like you look like his mom but it's it's you know it doesn't seem as bad as it could be yeah, I mean, I guess you never know, but I don't know. On its face, it doesn't seem like emergency flight back to Germany. No, I know no they've been together for five years. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot about that big, big yeah. detail. So someone goes, honey, 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 he only gets aroused when you look like his mom. Why are you making yourself okay that, with though? this? This is someone commenting. But So someone commented I know, on her update. But I'm saying, when did they affirm that he only gets aroused? This is on the update post. Got it. So I... Again, we don't know what the update says, but this is someone mm -hmm. commenting on the update. Yeah. And they go, honey, 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 he only gets aroused when you look like his mom. Why are you making yourself okay with this? He's literally conditioned you into being her doppelganger. Then he lied to your face about it. Why is she okay with this? Don't ignore the ick feeling. This will get worse when you have children and you don't raise them exactly like mommy did. Get therapy mm -hmm. for yourself. Figure out if this relationship really serves you or not. How much of yourself have you changed for him? How much have you given up? OP responds, I don't know. To be honest, he's my first everything and we've been together for five years and everything was perfect until I met his mom. I know that this relationship is a sinking ship now, but some part of me doesn't want to lose it. And then they quote what the person said and goes, why is she okay with this? And OP says, she thinks it's cute. Enmeshment. <laughs> and um, and basically OP just goes I don't think I've changed much about myself but I probably wouldn't be able to really tell 
So earlier I said there's a lot of lenses you can take to look at the situation. So many. And one of the lenses that I didn't want to dive into because it's a little bit darker is the idea of some people love are super. It kind of reminds me of that documentary of the guy who wanted his like sperm to just like permeate the world. So he was breeder like, fetish. Right. Still need to watch that. Yeah. So that oh, kind our of doctor or our, our father, something like that. But yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to assume the worst of people or like the darkest intentions, but like there are some people who are obsessed with spreading their seed and like their, For sure. their, their heritage or whatever the word is, their lineage. And so one lens is like, well, maybe this family is just like obsessed with the idea of like reproducing little like mini me's and like lookalikes. Yeah, yeah, maybe the mom's a part of that. Right, that's a far fetched idea, you guys. But in Never this know. comment, one of saying what did what did that? It said something to the effect of like, why is um, the mom okay with it? Yeah, she thinks it's cute. Right. So I don't know. I mean, again, that's I kind mean, of a stretch. But some people just like love the idea of, hey, we want to reproduce people who look like us. Yeah. Yeah. No, they definitely. It sounds a little eugenicsy. Um, but I think some people do have that definite, definite breeder fetish. That's definitely a thing. Yeah. I don't know. I also think with like enmeshment, like in the mom being like, I think moms and sons are like, for me, the most common form of enmeshment I think of. And I think the mom being like, oh, well, my son loves me so much. My son values me so much that when he was choosing a partner, he basically chose me. Like he chose my mm-hmm. doppelganger. So maybe yeah. it's like, that's why she thinks it's cute. That to me would make sense. Yeah, I see that perspective. But it's like weird because he's sexualizing it, you know? But enmeshment, they do sexualize their kids almost. That's like a part of enmeshment. They rely on their child as they would a partner. Yikes. Yeah, no, it's such an interesting thing. I haven't looked into it as much as you have, but it is weird because it's like, it's non-sexual but sexual. Like, I feel like it's almost like like emotionally, like crossing these boundaries but do, do you know what I'm saying but well, not and it like, can cross further like there are some parents that sexually abuse their children and they would consider that enmeshment still I'm not sure if that changes it like mm. I I don't know if it's enmeshment up until sexual abuse happens yeah. like I'm I'm truly I have not done that deep of a dive slash I'm not a psychologist so I'm not sure but now I am curious yeah but I think Typically with enmeshment relationships, they do become very intimate to the point where it's like, oh, they're doing date night together and they literally call it date night, Mm. but they don't have sex. Like it's just mommy son date and they go to date night. But I feel like date night with like, like parents isn't like a crazy term. I feel like I've seen TikToks. Yeah. They're like daddy daughter date night. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Yeah, Well, and date is used very loosely. I think Mm -hmm. maybe... some people might weird them out. I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, does it weird me out? I don't know. But I think it's it's like a multifactorial like thing. Like it has to yeah. check multiple boxes yeah. right. versus like, Again, it's not just like, oh, date matters. night and you're enmeshed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, For it's sure. the, all the context. Right. 